This is your JMT HBA 330 CNC controlled bandsaw. Uh, it's got a couple of different features on it. You've got a side vise uh, instead of a top vise for it. The option for it for a top vise is there, but we do not have it on this model. You've got two different emergency stop buttons, one up here on your beam and one here on your control. This here is your cutting speed. This here is your blade speed on your potentiometer here. Uh, to set up a program here, your start button, we'll go to manual mode first. You've got your top arch, which raises and lowers your beam there. You've got your vices, open and close. And you've got your feeder, which feeds out however long you want to cut your piece. Say you want to cut it half inch or so. Right there, and we'll start the cut. Once it's finished with the cut, it'll reach its limit switch and bounce all the way back up and reset itself. There we go, it reset and zeroed itself back up for another cut. There's your half inch piece. Now it does have an automatic mode, you can build a program and make numerous cuts with it. Go to automatic, go to program lines, new program, cut one, we'll do half inch with one cut. Program two, we'll do one inch with one cut and program three will go two inch with one cut. We'll interpret that, make sure it's good, everything's good, and we'll begin our cut. There's your half inch. On your control here, it shows you which line it's cutting. Right now it's gonna cut line number two and the length it's gonna cut it at one inch. You can also program your inch in either inches or millimeters. There's your one inch cut. Now it's going to cut number three, which is set for two inches. Now it's done with the program and shut itself off and all complete. It gives you a, a warning saying the end of the program. You just exit out of that and you're, go, you're free to go build another program. So here on the control you can control your vise opening and closing. 
for putting new pieces in. Close it back up. Tighten down, it gives you an alarm here saying workpiece is tensioned. You can, your drive here, you can feed it in and out. To zero it, you get it right on your cutting edge there, and that will be your zero. And you're ready to start cutting from there. Your top arch, you can manually move it down, or you can and move it right back up. A couple more accessories. You've got your nozzle here that sprays out your coolant. You've got two different settings it can go for. One of them is just a steady stream of coolant. Another is kind of a mist, depending on your cut you're doing. Um, another accessory is a conveyor for the rear of it. So say you're cutting a really long piece, a 10-foot piece, you can have an accessory that you can start your conveyor to help roll it in.